from this to this. Mr Speaker, I am a fighter and not a quitter. And finally this. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. All in 49 days. Over the next week, we'll be looking at Liz Truss's tenure as Prime Minister, focusing in on the chaos and the fallout. Today, we start with a summing up from Beth Rigby on Sky, when she interviewed Truss after the introduction of the disastrous mini-budget. Prime Minister, you've been in power for 28 days, but 10 of those politics was paused. In 18 days then, you announced £45 billion of tax cuts without setting a fiscal framework. It precipitated a £65 billion emergency bond buying programme by the Bank of England to protect pension funds. The pound tanked. A thousand mortgage deals were withdrawn from the markets as interest rate rates expectations spiked. You established a 33-point lead for Labour in the polls. And now the lady not for turning has announced a massive U-turn on a policy. This is surely the worst start of any Prime Minister. Crushing, but listen to Truss's comeback as she regurgitates a scripted response. Well, let's remember what we were facing four weeks ago. But do you accept we were that it's facing, been a bad start? We were facing families having energy bills of up to £6,000. We were facing inflation that could have been 5% higher. Blah, blah, blah. And 2,500 pounds. Okay, Prime Minister, my question... And, and we've, and we've covered we a lot also, of this on Sky News. My question was, do you accept you've had a rocky start? Well, what I am saying is that we have acted decisively in the face of very, very difficult international circumstances okay, let me where put it... Putin has been perpetrating... Obviously, she doesn't answer the question even when Beth Rigby rephrases it. The war in Ukraine okay. that has caused let an me, energy let price... Let me put it another way. I'm going to have to... Be, I haven't got very long and I've got so many questions for you. Let me put it another way. Do you think your personal authority has been enhanced or reduced in your short time in office? What I have done is I have delivered in very difficult circumstances for the British people. People were worried that they would struggle with fuel You've bills this them winter. A rise in people, mortgage rates. people were worried, and if you remember, that they would be struggling with their energy bills, that businesses would go out of business. We have dealt with that issue. We had to act quickly. We okay. had to do that mini budget in the circumstances to be able to deal with slowing economic growth. What a shame we only had 49 days of this. Think of what she could have achieved if she was still Prime Minister now. And with energy so bills. You don't accept, but we will. you don't accept you've had a bad start and you don't accept that your leadership has been troubled in the start of your premiership. Just to be clear, you don't accept that question. I've always been very clear, and I was clear during the leadership election, that we are facing very tough economic times. Click here for some more trust-related chaos.